The new Act 10, the Senate showdown, makes its way to the CSRA. Georgia's incumbent senior Senator David Perdue campaigned in Thompson tonight and spoke exclusively to Chloe Salsameda about the importance of next month's runoff. Senator David Perdue back on the road again as he looks to hold on to his Senate seat. But the stakes of this election are extremely high, with the makeup of the U.S. Senate dependent on these Georgia Senate races. <laughs> Senator David Perdue bringing his campaign to Thompson as he fights to hold on to his Senate seat. He led his Democratic opponent John Ossoff in November, but failed to clinch 50% of the vote, which was needed to send him back to Washington for a second term. I'm just a few thousand votes short of the 50% plus rule uh, that we have uh, in Georgia. Uh, even though I beat my opponent by two points, in most other states I would already have been reelected. This race is unlike the one he and Ossoff ran earlier this year. The outcome of this election will affect the Senate majority, which means all attention is on Georgia. The eyes of America are on us. Purdue's rally coming on the heels of a debate he skipped. Your senator is refusing to answer questions and debate his opponent because he believes he shouldn't have to. But Purdue tells me he has no regrets about opting out. We accomplished exactly what we wanted to accomplish. In the last month, Georgia's election has been under the microscope. Votes were audited and recounted, but the results didn't change. Now with November in the rearview mirror, attention is turning to January, and candidates and voters agree the stakes couldn't be higher. So, I mean, we're doing everything we can to make sure the people of Georgia know what's at stake right now in this election. I've been around a long time, and this is the most important of election in Georgia in my lifetime. Chloe Salsameda, WJBF News Channel 6.